Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Garrett. I'm the medical director for the Cleaning Challenge, and I want to talk to you guys about coconut oil. Uh, you know, it's really big today. There's lots of people doing it, using it for all sorts of things, and a lot of people have questions about it and making sure it's not gimmicky or, or it's not going to hurt you, and what are the benefits of it? So the number one benefit is, you know, you can use it to cook with. It's a wonderful kind of oil that it's uh, partially saturated, so when it's, you know, a little bit cooler in your house, it'll get hard. If you put it in the fridge, it'll get real hard. Uh, but otherwise, on the counter or, or in your cabinet, it might actually get liquidy during the, during the summertime. It has a, um, a really low melt point. And so that's one of the reasons uh, to use it. And I, I like to use it with the eggs with a little turmeric, you know. But it's not anti-inflammatory, so you still need to use olive oil. Uh, but it has some really great medicinal values. So one of the things it has in there is caprylic acid. And so we use it all the time, mixing it with tea tree oil or maybe a frankincense oil as a, a good base. Uh, but, you know, if somebody has like a little fungal infection on their leg or in their toe, uh, coconut oil is a wonderful thing. That caprylic acid helps break that down. The other really great medicinal property of it is it actually has something called monolauric acid and, or monolaurin. And so monolauric acid helps decoat viruses. So imagine like, you know, someone's deer hunting and you take off their camouflage and then it's easy to spot them. Well, that's what we do with viruses. Viruses cloak so that they can evade our immune system. But every time you eat coconut oil, you're actually allowing your body to decoat that virus and expose it to the immune system. And then you win that infection, right? Very, very quickly. So that's a great property to it too. So you can use it directly on the skin for therapeutic value, or you can eat it and just not have yeast infections and chronic uh, viral infections. The other thing is, of course, lotion. It's a, it's a wonderful oil. A lot of people use olive oil just directly as a great anti-inflammatory. Um, I like to mix it with frankincense or some other oils like menthol or, or something like that. Um, but coconut is excellent because it's uh, uh, just it absorbs very nicely. It seems like it'd be greasy. Women put it on their face at night. They take off their makeup with it. And again, you think it'd be oily, but no, it's really good. And you let that soak in. Some people pat it dry. Um, if you feel like it's uh, too oily for you, even, even so, you can always mix it with a little honey, a little glycerin, a little aloe, equal parts, and uh, put a little essential oil in there for smell, some lavender, something calming. And then you just make a little glass jar of it and you can keep it in the fridge or keep it next to your uh, sink. And it's a wonderful, healthy, one, uh, you know, natural lotion. So it's great. Um, some people just use it directly on their skin. Uh, a lot of people use it in their hair. Uh, so you put it in your hair, then you shampoo or, or rinse your hair. And so it acts as a really great conditioner without any toxicity involved with that. Um, I have four daughters and, and they all have, well, some of them have long hair, but, uh, you know, they're redheads and they have kind of thin hair sometimes and it gets tangly so uh, that's a really great thing for that and then uh, for women if you have a little vaginal dryness or uh, sometimes when you're a little bit older you have thinner membranes uh, in your vaginal area and so for the sexy sexy sex 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 part uh, it's really good to use it as a lubricant and so KY jelly is very toxic you know uh, there's some kind of natural ones that are a little bit better but again you're paying more for something you can just use coconut oil for. Now I will say, you should probably have a separate bottle, maybe by the bed, instead of using it out of the fridge. So that would be a little weird. Um, so I hope that really helps you guys. The other thing is make sure to know, like especially for natural lotion, most all lotions are horribly toxic, horribly toxic endocrine disrupting, uh, disrupting immune, oh, toxic, uh, immune disrupting, immune suppressing, uh, cancer causing chemicals in there. And so it's a very simple, cheap way to cook, have great skin, and uh, have the sexy sex. So, all right. I hope that helps. Thanks, guys.